Yes. Good afternoon, Bamas. Bamas, why do you think nobody respect Peter Tengress? I mean, Peter Tengress. Peter Tengress. You should be the last man to talk in this country. Okay? You was the man who ran Sky Bahamas under the ground. You was the man who lie and tell, tell the nation the PFP stole the watch money. I mean, Peter Tengress. You can't talk in this country. Bamas, listen to this. I mean, this this man, calling people calling him, calling him all, all, all kinds of names. Bamas, listen to this stupid this man on the way. First of all, it's the same man who borrow almost $4 billion in people money. Right now, Obama's definitely government has nothing to show for it. Nothing to show for it. And furthermore, though, it's the same man who sit down as deputy prime minister, who locking people up, the people who homeless getting locked up, getting through the house. I mean, pay attention to the You're going to pride, though. So, Obama's, listen very well. Like I said earlier, pay attention to the be the last person in the Bahamas to open the book. Okay? Now, three tourists came to the Bahamas. The tourists confess and say they didn't have proper, proper papers to land the bombers. They was detained for two hours. Somebody make a phone call, let them out. The same tourists drum the fence going on the beach. Now, you hear this man trying to treat behemoths? So this man is, listen, why do you think we must get rid of Peter Tengress them once and for all? Once and for all, because this might make no sense. Listen to the language and the tone of this man talking to behemoths. I mean, listen to how stupid he really is. Listen to this very well. As I drove around Providence just the uh, day before yesterday um, and saw the amount of uh, establishments that were open uh, with large crowds of people um, with no sign of mask and, and, and protection, um, you know, uh, they are doing a disservice, quite frankly, uh, to their patrons um, uh, and, and the wider community.